factor by grouping. Let's go ahead and work through it carefully. Solution. So when you start the process of factor by grouping, you first just pick two terms, and then you see if you can factor something out uh, from those two terms. So let's pick the first two and see what happens. So what is the greatest common factor here? Looks like the four and the six have a common factor of two, so we can pull out a two from both. And also they both contain an x, so we can pull out an x from both. All right, so now we're going to figure out what goes here, right? Because they both have a two and they both have an x, so we can pull out a two x. So you ask the question, what do you multiply by two x in order to get four x squared? Well, two x. That's because two times two is four, and x times x is x squared. Then you ask the question again, what do you multiply by 2x in order to get 6xy? Hmm, well we need a 3. We already have the x, so we're just missing the y. Yep, and that checks. 2x times 3y is 6xy, so everything here is okay. So now we have to look at the other two terms. And the important thing to remember is that whatever you factor out, um, has to leave a piece that matches the one we have over here. So there's two negatives here, so we probably should pull out the negative one. So let's do that. So negative, and then the numbers have nothing in common other than a negative one. So the two and the three have no common factors other than one. Um, th they both don't have an x, so we can't pull out an x. But they both have a y, so I believe we can pull out a y. Okay, now we perform the multiplication. What do we multiply by negative y in order to get negative 2xy? Well, we're just missing the 2x, so 2x. Same thing here. What do we multiply by negative y in order to get negative 3y squared? Well, we definitely need a positive 3, right, because that'll turn into a negative when we distribute. And it looks like we're just missing one of the y's. Oh, beautiful. It worked out so, so nice because now this is the same as this, and that is the goal. See, if you don't pull out the negative 1, you won't get this. It won't match, and so it won't work. Okay, so now we can pull out a common factor again, and the common factor is right here. 2x plus 3y, 2x plus 3y. So you write it down, 2x plus 3y, parentheses. And then you ask the question again, what is it that you multiply by 2x plus 3y in order to get this piece here? Well, you just, you're missing a 2x, so you write down what's missing, so 2x. And then one more time, what do you multiply by 2x plus 3y in order to get whatever is here? Well, you're missing a y, so you write down the y. And that would be the final answer. We have successfully factored by grouping. Good luck.